let's try this this morning. I gave up on trying to use the two video cameras for talking to you because of the lighting and the volume. And you can't really hear me, so it's kind of ridiculous. But welcome to my hunting part six. And today is uh, the 15th. It's cold. It's 36. The wind is blowing pretty good, so it probably makes it down to the 30s. Uh, Deercast is telling me that the deer are going to move this morning until the evening hours. Uh, the same thing with that uh, other hunting deer calendar. I'm using this one because I can sit here and look around. So, what am I going to do with the other camera? Well, that's a good question. I got a mount for my cell phone so I can hear better. And I'm going to take the other one and face it the other direction so I can see both the hunting that I need to see. Uh, I only have one camera going out the, the stand. Uh, no cameras out today except for this one. So, this is just an opening for part six. Today, tomorrow will probably be the last of the hunting for a couple days. As said, I got surgery to go to. Not a big deal, but still has to get done. And then uh, got to heal on Christmas and family coming over. I might slip out during that time too because they like to sleep in. So I'll slip out in the morning, try to get a little hunt in and go from there. All depends on how I feel. So that's what's going on right now. Uh, I just wanted to say good morning to you. Welcome back to my channel. I'm hoping you watching it, following me and trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing. Well, you never discuss blinds. I'll put a picture of my blind at the end of the video. I have the Game Winners video from Academy. It cost me $299. I have two of them. This is mine, and the other one's going to be my wife on the other side for her plot once we get going next year for bow hunting. Mine, I can use bow, shotgun, and uh, that's with the slug and my rifle here because I got clearing distance. The other one's a little bit more dangerous towards you, nearer the road, and I don't take a chance over there. But I've seen muddy blinds. Uh, I've seen a lot of blinds on the different hunting shows. All nice boxes. All lots of room. This one here, the only downfall, the swivel. It's a two-seat swivel bench. It squeaks, and you really don't have a good angle to shoot. So this bench is coming out. It's going into a fireplace uh, outside our house over here. Not to be burnt, but to be set on once I make it next year. And I got two chairs coming in, one chair for me, one for the wife that could be elevated and leveled out to the individual and not the stand because the stand kind of leans forward. So we're going to see what happens. So anyway, thank you for watching and stay tuned because uh, hopefully we get a deer in part six. OK. Well, I had the dates wrong. It's actually the 14th and uh, I think I'm going to stop hunting today and tomorrow. I have to take a stupid COVID test before my operation. But anyway, let me show you. There, as you can see, oh, there you go. That's my hunting stand in the area that I hunt from outside here. And it's not too far from the house. So when I have the old man sitting room to go to the bathroom, it's right there. But anyway, this will be the last uh, episode, uh, last shot for the couple days. Hopefully Christmas Eve, uh, sometime after the 22nd, I'll be able to start hunting again. Have to go in for the minor operation and like i said i don't want to take any chances of getting sick temperatures drop the wind chills out here and i'm going to take care of myself before i take care of the deer so anyway we'll get back with you as soon as i can well welcome to my hunting uh part six haven't hunted since the last video and i uh since uh, i think monday last week and it's monday again to the 21st of december had an operation I didn't want to sit in the woods, catch cold because of the COVID stuff and make the test. And I wanted to make sure I passed the test so I can have my operation. So, which is good. In the meantime, bring you up the stuff here. I got these Tideweed chairs. They swivel. Uh, they're very quiet, very comfortable. What's nice is you, if your stand is at a tilt, you can adjust the legs where you're not tilted. I mean, it is practical because my stand sits at an angle and I really hate leaning forward. This one here you can raise it up, set it back and whatever. I bought one for my and my wife to put in our game winner stand. Uh, the, the, the bench that came with it is nice but usually we don't hunt two to the stand and uh, the room is just not there and uh, it's really really uh, noisy. You'll get a loud squeak and I really don't want to hear the deer. Plus if I want to go over here I have to swivel back and forth. This one here you do too, but as you can see, it's quiet. It's very quiet. It goes 360 degrees, so I'm able to shoot here, shoot here, and shoot here where I want to shoot. I will not shoot behind me because it's heading towards my house and I safety first. But uh, 
Friday night, like I said, I had the operation Thursday, had a big doe out here in my woods. So I ran out with my socks and my jacket on and uh, I took the shot. I saw the fuzz from the chest, it could have been the belly area, saw a piece of skin and a little bit of blood. Uh, saw her run off and then I lost her. And we don't know, we, we, we looked in the woods for a blood trail, couldn't find any. Uh, I don't feel bad because I watch the professionals, they also lose deer sometimes. And they've got tracker dogs and other stuff. I don't have that. So that doesn't help me a bit. But I did order that flashlight so I could see blood. But like I said, there was no blood to be found. I think I just nicked her. Uh, probably too dark to try to take a shot, but I was stupid and did it anyway. And then the wife hit a deer the other night coming home. No damage to the car, no damage to the deer per se. But heh, we both got a doe, I guess. But we can't tag them because you can't find them. But anyway. Going back out to the stand here in about two hours. Uh, try my luck this afternoon because yesterday it was an abundance of deer out. At, you know, about three o'clock they just started roaming everywhere. We couldn't get it, couldn't get enough of seeing them. Of course, I'm not in the stand, but I will be today. I have two cameras now, and I'll be using my cell phone for the main camera because uh, the voice. Them two little cheap cameras are good for videos and nothing else. But stay tuned. We'll be back at it, and hopefully by the end of this year. I will have at least one deer. Uh, my son-in-law got a nice buck uh, the same day I got my doe, which I didn't get. So it's going to be an interesting uh, year to finish it out, but a lot of planning. So thank you, and uh, we'll get back right at you. Well, I'm back in my stand finally after one week. Feels good. Got something in the mail the other day. We ordered them. A rattle bag. There was some scent out there. Hopefully, hopefully Bambi likes it and comes in. Don't know, but I got it. I'm gonna play with it and try ahead. It happens. I got two cameras going, like I said, left and right, and hopefully the deer show up here in an hour. And uh, my left, and we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm coming out during dusk hour, so this is gonna be good for me. Give me a chance to survey the area before the sun sets and get settled in here and quit making noise. I guess that's the key. So I'm gonna get back with you. Oh yeah, earlier I told you about the chairs. Uh, so far they're good. I cannot wait to put them in this stand to be more comfortable. As you can see, I'm kind of leaning towards you based upon that uh, the, tent, the stand tilts forward. And I'm going to put the link to those chairs in with uh, the prior video or this video, uh, with this video to be exact. So at least you know where to get them. I got them on Amazon, $150 a chair, but, and you can hear, uh, you can't hear it now. I guess it's okay now. So anyway, we'll talk to you in a bit. Yeah. Well, been out here about 45 minutes and uh, heard just now, heard my first shot. So uh, hopefully that means the deer are moving and maybe somebody else got another deer. I did run into my neighbor's friend, part of the board of the committee next door to the lake over here. And uh, he's really cool. He helped me try to find my doe. Uh, I mentioned to you that I shot one. Me and, uh, me and a friend looked for it for about an hour that night. Uh, couldn't find the blood trail. And then... Uh, we let it rest and then me and the wife got up this in the morning we must have covered about 400 yards within a 270 degree perimeter around the yard house uh from the stands and stuff and to include went into the other man's property i let him know and he was like okay george you can go there nobody's hunting so that was pretty nice uh my neighbor uh but once again we didn't find the doe that i needed to find but that's part of hunting i suppose you get lucky sometimes you don't first time i shot a deer dropped it right there and it's dead in its track this time i shot it it decided they wanted to run but then again it probably wasn't a good kill shot either so something i'm going to be working on next year on the range and fine-tune these weapons to the point where i won't miss next time so i've also got to train my wife too so she can do her thing so operating my, my own camera crew here so i don't have the luxury of having sponsors and crews and tv channels but I do enjoy watching them, and they do just about the same thing, except they sit at the house and talk to you more than I do. I'll talk to you from the stand mostly, so. Okay, keep our fingers crossed. Thank you. You know, it may be me, but check this out. I'm going to try it out here, right? That grunt call kind of sounds weak. I thought it would be a lot louder, you know, echo all the way down there so the deer would hear it. Uh, if you guys have any idea about deer calls, uh, the grunt calls and stuff that might be the loudest, uh, let me know. I'd like to know a little bit more. I, I learned from you guys out there who do hunt, 
And when I typed in uh, hunting on YouTube, for instance, today, uh, man, there's a lot of videos out there. There's a lot of people like me make our own. And I like that. I like watching them, too. So uh, hopefully you guys subscribe to it and you like this and follow me as I get into hunting a little bit more. Being a, like I said, disabled veteran, veteran slice, you know. I didn't have this opportunity that much. Uh, I would have loved to hunt with my son, you know, take him out hunting, or, or, you know, and just spend hours in the woods and learning to trade. And I kind of wish my dad would have taken me hunting, you know, but he was also a veteran. And uh, we moved around, we were military. We didn't have much, their, their whole life was bowling. And of course mine was too, until I got married. And hey, you know, there's more to life out there than just bowling, so. We wind up doing more stuff now, uh, and hunting is being a part of that now, which is good. I like hunting, and I like spending time in the woods with my wife, even though she might be in her own deer stand now. But anyway, it's just something to ponder on, okay? Thanks. Well, <clears throat> still no deer. I am playing with my rangefinder, though, so I'm just checking out trees, the distance between me and my fi field of fire here, and what I got to clear. There's a... Beautiful little item. Uh, I never knew how to use one in the guy at the store at Cabela's in uh, Arizona showed us how to use it. And next thing I know, I got one for my birthday or Christmas. So it's always a good tool. Have tools, you can do just about anything you need to do in life. Uh, if you got the right stuff, you know, that's all that counts. So now I just gotta gain the skills of shooting, hunting, skill, you know, skinning them out and all that good stuff. I can dress a deer out, that's not a problem. What I need to learn how to do is those guys that hang it up and they dress it and quarter their own meat and stuff and process their own meat so you don't have to take it down to the butcher. But with CWD, I gotta look for the signs on that one too. I understand it's the spots and the ribs and stuff. So we'll see what happens. As I get older and learn more, maybe I'll have a chance to do that stuff. I gotta show you my hunting bag. I use this bag for everything. Yep. <clears throat> it's my Harley Davidson laptop backpack bag. I carry my cameras in there. I carry the uh, binoculars, the range finders, my gloves, uh, extra batteries, stuff like that, and glasses for reading if I need to see something up close or personal. But I think it's pretty cool. I've got a little bag, and it's, it's my Harley backpack. I use the hell out of it. I still use scent killer gold, so everything comes out to this tree stand is sprayed. And like I said, next time I'm buying the HECS -E system hex. And me and the wife each get in a suit for that one. So we can wear this stuff and still spray this. And yet, our body stuff, don't the, the human order doesn't come out and scare the deer. So it's already a little after four, I think. And uh, I'm going to sit here until the sun just about drops. I'm not going to try to take a shot at really dark. So I'll come back on before I leave. Well, <clears throat> it's almost 4.40, 4.45. Yep, modified my blind a little bit, as you can see the camera over here. And this little flap right here was just is in the way. I just couldn't stand it anymore. So, batteries are running low. It's getting dark outside. Um, we'll sit here for probably five more minutes, and I think that's it for tonight. So hopefully, beginning of next week, I'll come back out and hunt again. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna hunt anymore this week because my son and family are all starting to come in. Got a lot of stuff to do for Christmas, so. Merry Christmas, and uh, we'll talk to you right after it. Well, good morning. It's actually about quarter to 11 this morning. They said the deer are going to be moving this afternoon. So, I haven't been back in the stand for quite a while now. Got done with my operation, and uh, everything's good now, I guess. And uh, Friday, uh, I uh, at right, day right after my operation, I took a shot at a doe, and... Uh, Somehow I just nicked her belly and uh, she went under. And uh, anyway, bottom line is two days later, she came back, I saw her, so it's not a big deal. But over the Christmas weekend, we had a really bad cold front come in where we had a little bit of snow, not a whole lot here. And uh, man, it must have been about 10 to 20 deer in my yard. A lot of big does, some small does. So they're here just when they want to surface. And uh, fortunately for me, or unfortunately for me, I can't hunt at night. And, uh, of course, I don't want to hunt in my yard anyway, so it doesn't matter. But I did try once, so, and I foobarred it up pretty good. So, anyway, back in the stand. Uh, this will going to be, like I said, my hunting channel. Part 6 will be the last one for the year. It's the 29th, and 
I'm not sure how much more time I have left to hunt. I think it's the 3rd of January. So in the meantime, I'll keep plugging away at it and see what happens. Well, got some good news. My son-in-law, when they came up for Christmas, brought us some uh, deer meat for his seven-point buck. So we got deer meat anyway. We're going to try it out. Uh, uh, he just got it back from the processor. My grandson said he's going to save some of the deer meat from the ones he's got. He's got a friend down there. I think they got Doe Unlimited, man. He shoots them all. So, anyway, we did get deer meat. I just haven't shot one yet. Yeah, and that's my goal. <laughs> Normal stuff, right? Yeah, I did forget to mention to you, uh, Christmas Day, or was it? Yeah, Christmas Day, uh, across the street. Well, on the, my side of the road were the two does, but in the middle of the road was my eight point. He was out there bigger and better than ever. So he's still around. Unfortunately, he was across the street and he ran down into my neighbor's woods. But it was still awesome to see that buck in the middle of the road. Uh, not for cars, I guess, because my wife hit a deer the other day. <sighs> Damaged the headlight a little bit, the bracket. So I had to fix it. Be good to go. Mercedes wants almost 1500 so I'll do it myself. So the light still works. But look like again, big doe and uh, that my huge buck was still being seen out there. So that's all I look forward to. All right. Well, it's still the 29th. I came back out for the evening hunt here and see what I can do. But before I do that, just kind of want to give you a view of some of the modifications I have done. So hold on, let me change cameras. So what I've done, I extended my window. Gives me more of a shot. And there's one of my video cameras I told you about facing out the back. That's where I put the cell phone. And then of course, the other window with another video camera. Those cameras are helping me a little bit. So there you go with the cameras. Those are facing each direction I'm gonna hunt. So hopefully, you know, just like you see on TV, you see the deer, boom, it goes down. You know, a lot of people, maybe you watch this, maybe they don't, uh, like I said, I don't know. But if you do like it or don't like it, anyway, if you got some other opinions or some uh, advice to give this amateur, I'd gladly listen to you, take it into a grain of salt. As you can see, I'm going to be clearing out all that stuff that you saw in the video and uh, give me a bigger field of fire. I'm going to put out some uh, no-till uh, deer, deer food plot. So by the next year, I'll have the greens and stuff down here. I'm going to put a 30-gallon water tub down here and keep it full of water. So deer got food and water, and if they don't ever come in, I guess I chose the wrong spot, which I know I didn't. I've seen big deer come through here, so it's just a matter of time. That's all it is. Okay, so let's hope we get one today. I think the deer are still on Christmas break, man. No movement whatsoever out here today. Now watch. I'll go back to the house and they'll be sitting in my yard. That's what they always do. Which I did measure my house. I'm about 180, 120 yards from down in the valley though so close but not too close i don't have too much land like i said 17 acres so i try to make the use out of it to be safe so if i shoot and miss it goes beyond it doesn't hit nothing but woods so anyway i thought that was fun so we'll sit out here for about another 30 minutes or so and see what's going on hopefully something shows up well it's uh about 4 30 somewhere around there for about another 10 minutes I think I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens but so far there has been not any movement at all I just saw a squirrel for the first time since being on the stand unsuccessful as far as nailing a deer yes but enjoyable it's quiet out here it's peaceful I can sit here and plan things out in my head as I look out over the, the range here for about 50 yards or more, I can clear out a lot of the little sticks and stuff so I've got a better eyesight on deer and a better clear of field of fire here. But I am going to go down to the Montgomery County range uh, next year and I'm going to sight in all my weapons. And then, of course, me and the wife are each getting a crossbow so we can hunt. So anyway, that's it for today. I just wanted to say thank you for stay tuned. It's the 29th of uh, December. The year's almost over, and so isn't the hunting season. So, But I still got deer meat to eat, but I'll worry about that later. All right, thanks. Well, it's uh, about 4.35, 4.40, somewhere around there. 
So about another 10 minutes, I think I'm gonna give it a shot and see what happens, but so far, there has been not any movement at all. I just saw a squirrel for the first time, since being on the stand. Unsuccessful as far as nailing a deer, yes, but enjoyable. It's quiet out here, it's peaceful. I can sit here and plan things out in my head as I look out over the, the range here. For about 50 yards or more, I can clear out a lot of the little sticks and stuff so I've got a better eyesight on deer and a better clear of field of fire here. But I am going to go down to the Montgomery County Range uh, next year and I'm going to sight in all my weapons. And then, of course, me and the wife are each getting a crossbow so we can hunt. So, anyway. That's it for today. I just wanted to say thank you for stay tuned. It's the 29th of uh, December. The year's almost over, and so is the hunting season. So, but I still got deer meat to eat. But I'll worry about that later. All right, thanks. Well, good morning. It's the 30th of December, my friends. Uh, welcome back to my hunting. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to be much activity, but I got to I got to try this morning. But I am trying something new. I got my motorcycle cameras out here, as you can see, and uh, they're a little bit quieter than the video cameras that I make, so I can just turn it on. It makes a little beep, and hopefully that doesn't disturb the deer. Oh, sorry, too close. Doesn't disturb the deer. But anyway, I want to give this a shot until the end. Uh, very discouraging this year as far as actually nailing a deer, but that's mostly my fault. But overall, I'm still happy with the season, and uh, I've got a better season coming next year, so we'll keep you informed, all right? Well, good afternoon. It is December 31st. Well, welcome back to my hunting. And uh, getting ready for the new year. <laughs> well, almost. I'm still sitting in the deer stand here trying to wait a couple hours and see if I can see Bambi or not. Uh, this will probably close out the video for the year. Uh, Saturday, Sunday is just what it is. It's the end of the first of the year. I will probably make a short clip if I do catch anything but for the most part I think I'm going to end my video right here today in hopes of catching one on the end of the year for my hunting but my neighbor came over the other day she gave me a nice deer roast she uh, heard that I was down not being able to get one she's the one that caught five so I'm very happy about that one so anyway wish me luck let's hope I can get something and enjoy the day thank you well, my friends, I think that's it for the year as far as hunting. I think I'll try again Saturday and Sunday, but I'm going to wrap this video up and get it out because it's going to be a little longer than normal because season, or my part six is, uh, excuse me, drizzle from the cold outside. Anyway, no luck. Got out there, got set up in the stand, probably a half hour now, and uh, I got a call. Friend's coming over. He's got to pick up something for us and uh, fix it, so... I must come here so you can see I'm back in my civvies. I'm not going anywhere. So I want to wish everybody a happy new year and 2021, maybe the best year of all. Let's hope and let's pray. Uh, keep the political crap out of this. So anyway, happy new year. Thank you for watching my channel.